So, <laughs> good evening and welcome to On The Rocks and our um, In Bed With Ryan T. Thornton um, promotion that we are doing for Sochi. I am here with Severin Kiefer. Say hello. How you doing? <laughs> Miriam Ziegler. Hi. And I am joined from the United States of America <laughs> with Victor. That's not my name. Victor, Victor Pfeiffer. <laughs> That's not my name. What's your That's name? That's not my name. <laughs> okay, singing a song there. <laughs> well done, Victor. You've already managed to upstage me. Congratulations. Do you know the you know the secret to being cocky? Get good internet connection. And he's back. So, Victor, I'll explain what's going on here for you and for the viewers at home. What we're doing is we're releasing uh, a series of interviews, hopefully. If this one works and other people agree to the interviews, if you're out there and you'd like to be interviewed, On The Rocks Needs You, come by. But what's happening, Victor, is we've got a cameraman here, another cameraman here, and we've got a wide camera. I'm recording your screenshot of what's happening through your internet transmission with us. And then we're going to edit all of these videos together with sound so that we get the full thing of the three Austrian members. Um, of the ice skating team going to the Olympics. For everybody out there at home who are fans of yours, it's just a nice little thing that we're doing. And we're drinking tea. Drinking tea. Yeah, we've got having Yorkshire tea. Right, which brings me... You know what, I, you know what? I think it, it's my responsibility to mention that Ryan is not drinking tea. Tea. I have drank a couple of glasses of wine, it must be said. But um, that's just, just for medicinal purposes. But do you remember this brand of tea? <laughs> Do you remember this brand of tea? Yes, I have them at home because I went to uh, uh, Europeans in Sheffield and a certain comedian person slash Ryan Thornton actually threw it on the ice and uh, I have a bunch of them now. I love them. They're great. Thank you. It was my grandma who threw them on the ice. Okay. And you were supposed to give them to Severin to bring back to me. <laughs> so, so you left an Englishman without tea. You have an Englishman without tea in Austria for a while. But, thankfully, Severin, the man of the hour, he came through for me and brought them back. Right, so I'm going to talk to these two for a while. Because even though you're just virtual, you seem to be hogging the conversation a little bit. <laughs> yes. Right, so, this is your first um, time of being a pair together this season. Um, you got together, when did you get together? Uh, April, March, uh, April, May. April, May 2012. 13. 2013, yeah, it's a new year. <laughs> April, May 2013, you got together. Um, so that's nine months ago? Yep, pretty much. Um, and you've done pair skating before with other partners, but this is your first time as a pair. So, but this time it's your second Olympics. Yeah. So how does it feel to now be the lesser person in the relationship? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> It's taken some getting used to, really, um, but I think I'm adapting well. Um, it's it's easy to look up to Miriam, even though she's so short. <laughs> I'll do the jokes. Um, and of course, the old man sat there. Three Olympics, Vancouver, um, somewhere in Italy that's name escapes me, and now Sochi. Are you getting me, Victor? I called you an old man. Right, we'll, we'll come back to you two. And um. Yeah, you're an old man. You've done three Olympics. Severin hasn't even done one. You know, Miriam's done two. Even Miriam's better than him. So we'll come back to you two. <laughs> None of you as old as me. Yeah, but I'm statesman old. I've got the moustache. I've got a grandeur. Yeah. So. No, but to be honest with you, when you asked me that I the internet connection was bad, so that's why I didn't answer correctly, you know. Like every time something weird comes out of my mouth, it's because the internet connection is not good enough. That's what my girlfriend says. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. We'll edit that bit out, maybe. <laughs> um, so, um, so you've been going to the Olympics three times now. You're the old man. You're the old statesman of Austrian figure skating. Mature. And are you looking forward to Sochi? Yeah, I already have white hair. That's how many times I've been to the Olympics. Yeah, nobody can really... I'm looking forward very much, actually. I leave on Wednesday from Washington, D.C. 
Um, I'm going to fly to Vienna and then to Sochi, and I'm looking forward. Actually, I'm looking forward the most to seeing Severn and Miriam and hanging out with them. Yeah, I suck up. Do stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. I do that. I like to keep. I like to keep young people around me so that I feel younger than I actually am. <laughs> I understand exactly what you're saying, Victor. <laughs> no, but really quickly, just so I know how I, what I can say. Am I allowed to say shit? Uh, well, you just did. We will edit it out. I mean, do you want... I'm not bothered. It's up to you. If you want your fans to hear you saying things like that, that's entirely up to you. Okay. You know, I'd probably hold back for certain words. You know, words that British people use that Americans don't like. What kind of words? I'm not going to go into that. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so, anyway, you've not got your, co you've not got your clothing yet. Because I know that. But uh, I see you two are all decked out, um, and you've got the um, the Austrian. When did you pick these up? Um, last um, week. Yeah, Tuesday. No, it was this week actually. Yeah. Tuesday, and so you've got lots of winter clothing, lots of ski outfits. Um, why exactly is the temperature going to be um, at the rink uh, venue? Uh, Fifteen degrees Celsius. Fifteen degrees Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, we're gonna have a nice uh, walk on the beach when we get there. A poverty-stricken Europe <laughs> <laughs> investing in ski clothing for people who are going to uh, <laughs> to temperate climates. But fair enough. Yeah. Uh, but you're taking your stuff. Or you're taking uh, Victor's clothing with you. Oh, I don't know. The Austrian Olympic Committee has to do that. We're not. We're you're not having anything to do. I'm gonna say, you know. Say, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Severin just said hell. That's a bad word. <laughs> Is this is like your preparation for it. Like, well, I've got an interview to do. I'll say one swear word and then see if anybody else does. And hell's not a swear word. It's blasphemy. But let's not get into religion neither. The internet connection was pretty bad just now. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about I it. I didn't really hear anything, but but I feel like I should censor everything since I'm I'm from Amer I'm from, I'm in America right now, so I should I'm be from able America. To he says doing his interview in lead up to him representing Austria at the Olympics. Way to go. One way to much about idea. swearing anymore. So, um, so you're taking, the Olympic Committee are taking that over. Yeah. Um, right, and I, uh, I think we know something, Victor, don't we? That the rest of the world don't know about Miriam and Severin. Do you know about this? Are you making it official that they um, that they like you own, that they, they paint sometimes and have oh, no, nice drawings in their, in their I, I, locker I room sense, at the rink. I sense there's an animal attraction on the bed. And I don't just mean between me and producer Paco behind the camera. <laughs> Although that is an overwhelming animal attraction that, you know... Well, we especially with that, with that, like, <laughs> sweater, it's unbelievable. Yeah, nobody ever gets to see Paco. He always stays behind camera. You should turn the camera around. I actually should. And say hi to all the people. Is it honest to God? It's like Antonio Banderas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Antonio Banderas and Jesus had a child together. Honest to God, that is how. Well, who I knows was. they didn't? Well, uh, Paco's the proof that they did. <laughs> yes. Surely to God. Um, but you two are a couple. We are. Yes. Love is in the air. It's official, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> you make him feel good. Yeah, <laughs> that was much. great. That was so great. What a great <laughs> answer. Like, uh, the yep. words have come. Uh, yep. Wrapped your match. Anything and, else, like that's it. And, uh, you, you, nobody wants to add anything. That's it. You just yep. You are all from a Germanic people. Do you know what I mean? You know what? I'm gonna do the same thing, Ryan. Whenever you ask questions from now on, all I'm gonna say is yep or no. Yep. Nope. Yep. <laughs> that's all. That's all <laughs> I'm gonna say. That, that, that plays into my hands because it just means I get more time to speak. <laughs> <laughs> you see, and um, I remember the first conversation that I had with you, uh, Victor. Do you remember it? Yep. I remember the first conversation I had with you, Victor. It was a beautiful, beautiful winter's day. A, a Tuesday, I remember it being, and I. A Tuesday. <laughs> and I felt. You're not supposed to say yet. And I felt that there was a, a connection between us. Do you? Yep. A certain chemistry. Yep. Uh, a way in which we, we, we bonded together that... that 
I mean, people put such labels as as, as straight or gay, but it was something that, that went above <laughs> that went above that picture. It was a it was a it was a connection of of minds more than anything else. I need to say something more than yep, okay? I need to I need to talk about your No, the funny thing is the first thing I see in the camera is your outfit. Like oh, yeah, what, I what are outfit. you wearing anyways? Like I can't even be serious if you were What is it? Yeah, because well I was thinking the polar bear. Did you know the polar bear is one of the uh, evilest pe uh, creatures on the planet? Yes. Give it the camera run at over 30 miles per hour. Um, and that's the polar bear is um, a mascot. That's the word I was searching for. The polar bear oh, is a mascot right. for Sosha. Yeah. Yeah, he got voted by the um, Russian people. Um, <laughs> AKA um, Vladimir Putin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was decided that the polar bear was going to be democratically elected <laughs> in a, a free and fair rigged vote. And the polar bear is now one of three mascots. There was also a frog, but they didn't like the frog. I, I, I think it reminded them of Napoleon or something. I don't know. No, but but my point is that how can I not have a beautiful connection with a polar bear? Yeah. So on that on that particular Tuesday in Graz, I had a very special connection on camera. You could see it on camera on the live stream of the Ice Challenge that I had a very special connection with a polar bear slash Santa Claus. Yeah. So, yeah, I admitted it. Yeah. It's a very, very special connection, yeah. Touch. That's it. Touch me. Boom. Boom. Right. That was yeah. special. Boom. Boom. That was special. I like that. That's, that's, cool, that's, yeah. that's technology, people. That's what's <laughs> happening. So, we better get back. That, the polar bear thing, though, does... I'm going to ask you some ridiculous questions now. Um... If you could have any animal you wanted in the world as a steed to ride around on, yeah, which would it be? I'd like to have a lion like in Narnia. A lion like in Narnia. Yeah. Like Aslan. Aslan. I'm a lion. He rules. You're an old lion. Yourself, Severin? Uh, from Never Ending Story. The, the big weird yeah. thing, the dog like. Yeah. Like, yeah, like he looks like some, he should be a French dog. It looks like there's a nice French dog, and then the local mongrel but then he's had it away with also. it, and then the puppies yeah. came along, and he looked a bit scruffy, but there was still a little bit of royal blood in him. I get you. If you could have, but wait, could have, I think no, but Severin, didn't you always? You always wanted a monkey. Yeah, but I right? can't ride around on a monkey. You could ride around on a on a on a, a gorilla. On a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said a bad word. I know, I but um, no, I was gonna say monkey until he said to ride around on really. Right. Right. Okay, then I'm gonna just take this. You're gonna ask me too, Ryan, right? Yeah. I right. want I want a monkey that I can ride on. You want a monkey that you can ride on? <laughs> okay. Well, you can have. It could be fictional, to be honest. I'd have a polar bear. Um, You'd have a polar bear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, but Severin just ride. mentioned that they're aggressive creatures. Yeah, but I'm riding. Okay, on. here's what I want. I want a dolphin, but a dolphin that can walk and do stuff. <laughs> so it's not a dolphin. <laughs> See, like a human. Like a dolphin, you know, or or maybe a bird, but it has to be like a big, like a human-sized bird. Like an ostrich. No, 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 like a flying one, like okay. one that can actually fly. Yeah, I quite like, like a uh, like in Harry Potter, the Griffin things. What they're called? Harry Potter. I haven't seen Harry Potter. <laughs> You've not seen Harry. Get away! You must yeah, have seen Harry that. Potter. No, I mean that. Right, next question. There is a correct answer to this. Yep. And this is going to these first. You come second. Just yep. to let you know. Yep. Um, and you'd be happy coming second in social, so think about yep. that. <laughs> um, <laughs> best character from The Lion King. Oh, I know the right answer. Okay, well, you, you stick out with this one. Best character from The Lion King, Miriam. Is it my turn? First? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why I asked you yeah, by name. Um, it is your turn, that's what I do. Simba. <laughs> Simba. Yeah. Simba is possibly the worst character. He is no, rubbish. He I runs away. He's cowardly. And then he has to get this persuaded. That's your opinion. Best character from The Lion King. Peepsy. There's no Peepsy in it. <laughs> <laughs> there is. I, I'll tell you what Peepsy is. Peepsy is a human sized bird <laughs> that you can ride around on. Well, the answer that you are looking for is Rafiki. The monkey. The monkey. No, I 
The king is alive. <laughs> the king is alive. <laughs> that is definitely the best. Right, so I did ask for lots of questions to come in from fans from around the world. But I didn't get any questions from fans from around the world. Um, now, I do know with these two that their preparation for the Olympics is going like a well-oiled masseuse. But how's your preparations for the Olympics going? Are you feeling? Are you fit? I think, I think we all just kind of like went like, okay, you need to explain first how a well-oiled um, masseuse goes. Smoothly. <laughs> Without friction. Without <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, so, okay, my preparation, I'm really happy, actually. It's going really well. Um, well, thanks for the interesting answer, Victor. Right? <laughs> so <laughs> interesting. It's going like a well-oiled human-sized bird. Size bird. A well-oiled human-sized bird. <laughs> but oil's not good for birds. I've seen this. VP did it to Florida. Actually, I got my hair cut yesterday, and I got a uh, I got a massage, like a complimentary massage, right at the place, right there. Talking about oil, it was fantastic. So, since you asked me how my how my uh, preparation is going, is going brilliantly. I mean, I just I'm just just enjoying life. Basically. That's amazing, Victor. Like those places here, you definitely wouldn't be able to get a haircut at. I know. Okay, let's be. I'll t I'll tell you what happened. It was it was a thirty it was thirty dollars. Okay. And the haircut took maybe 25 minutes. And then afterwards, this guy came. He's like, there's a complimentary massage. And he did a 45-minute massage on my back. Just loosened everything up. Because you know what? You get a haircut, you need to just relax a little bit. And that's what happened. That's, that was my afternoon yesterday because I, I had a day off. You ever had a head massage? I got the head massage. And actually, I was talking about this with a friend because you never know. You never know where the line is. You know, like when you get your head massage and you're laying back. Should you close your eyes? Should you keep them open? You never know. You know what I mean? Like, if you close your eyes, are you enjoying it too much? Are you sending the wrong message? If you make noises, if you start moaning. Oh, groaning. <laughs> Big time. But I think, no, close your eyes. Because eye contact is more <laughs> weird. Sending the wrong no, message, oh, Ryan? That's a question. Like, I never know. So I just kind of like, I just kind of put my head back and I just open my eyes like this. Even though soap and water gets in my eyes. And I'm just like, because I just don't want to be awkward. You should just close one eye. And like, let one side of your face go limp and pretend you're having a stroke. It's like, ah, uh, see how long she can, yeah, exactly that look right there. See how long you get your head massage for. <laughs> okay, that's a good idea. So, what else can we ask? Um, so, you're setting off Wednesday? Yes. Wait, there are two? I, I yeah, we're on Wednesday. Yeah, we're, well, well he's, he's leaving Washington on Wednesday, so I assume he's leaving Vienna for Sochi on Thursday. Yes. Yeah. So you're going via Vienna to Sochi? So he'll, he'll be getting there on Thursday, we'll be getting there on Wednesday. That sounds like the itinerary for a Bond film. Bond film? Yeah, yeah like do, 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 Vienna. And Dubai, Dubai as well? Yeah. Oh, you definitely need to kill somebody on the way. Dubai. Didn't understand what that means. Because he's been away from Europe for too long, hasn't he? Oh, it weird. Works. You know. I think we're gonna wrap things up if everybody's had a good time. Uh, but I want to know: Do you have any messages for your fans out there? Uh, well, like what? Uh, well, I don't know. It's like yours. A message, uh, like a message, yeah. Something heartfelt that you've come up with personally, <laughs> <laughs> and not got dictated to you by somebody else. Well, clearly we do. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can thank everyone for the for the amazing support we've gotten gotten by now. <laughs> um, we'll hope you to. can also like our Facebook page. Good, joined up thinking. I like it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You can most... also like his Facebook page. I like. It. You see, most people I work with can't even do joined up writing, and we've got joined up thinking right here. I'm loving that, people. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, like Severin's obviously got a little bit nervous because well, you're the experienced one. Um, <laughs> I'm talking about the partnership, yeah. not your relationship. Yeah. Um, and he's gone a bit quiet, so well done there, Miriam. Do you have anything to say to the fans? Yeah, stay classy, San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Read between the lines, man. Sorry, I'm just quoting Die Hard now. Stay classy, fans. Stay classy, fans. That's my. I'm gonna. I have to talk to the camera. Stay classy, fans.
stay classy. Stay classy. That's like the best thing. You should always stay classy in life. That's that's what it's all about. Like, just stay classy. Just like Ryan, he's classy. Look 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 at him. Yeah, like I've got like you got a polar bear onesie. He's classy right there. Boom. Yeah, but not only that, I've got a cravat on. No, but seriously, like like last time I didn't. No, but last time I was gonna look up. I was gonna look up um, a definition for classy, and there was a polar bear. Outfit onesie and Ryan Thornton, and then I just knew what classy was, and I want all the fans to be like Ryan Thornton, just classy, polar bear, right. polar bear classy. Do you have an Uber fan, like a serious super fan. Um, yeah, his name is Ryan Thornton, and he's a comedian from Austria and a coach. I'm not from and Austria. He loves me. Please. He thinks, I'm not from Austria. He thinks I'm so funny. I live in Austria. I'm from. Great Britain. Well, he, from Great Britain, he's from I forgot. America, Ryan. Yeah, you're from America as well, going to represent. <laughs> Everything's got tangled here. We are yeah. in a mesh, a veritable mesh of nationalities. But do you have, so do you not have a super fan? I know you do. And I think you should give her a, pri a private message. Okay, actually, it, yeah. Nobody I'm going to, Momoyo, thank you very much for the support over the years. She's been loyal for 10 years and just supporting me even in hard times. So thank you very much. Yeah, you're right. Can you say her name once more? Her name is Momoyo. Momoyo. She's from Japan. And she's a very, 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 very great fan and great person. And you have a, a fan slash stalker uh, that we really like here at uh, On The Rocks. She came to us through Severin. Um, and we'd like to say thank you, but I'll let Severin do it because I think she's got a crush on you. <laughs> thank you, Akiko, for all the support we've gotten from you. <laughs> <clears throat> I personally now have a fan whose name I don't understand because it's written in uh, Japanese, I'm afraid. Um, but she now has me as her background picture on Twitter. <laughs> so if you are watching and can understand me, hello, thank you for... Wait a minute, wait a minute, Ryan. Are you are you going to the Olympics too or what, what's going on here? I'm just awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know much about sport. No, no, no. I will be going soon. On the rocks will be at the next Olympics. Like, we would have been at this one, but we couldn't afford, like, the bribe. It was just too much. To be honest with you, I, I, I am a big fan of The Rocks, and I'm, I am a big fan of you, Ryan, so... You, you, on The Rocks. On the if you say you're a big fan of The Rocks, it sounds like you do crack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe he like does. The Rocks. Paco in the background is cracking. <laughs> <laughs> does that mean that, Ryan, that Paco is into that stuff? No, 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 no. No, Paco's the middleman. Anyway... <laughs> Right, no, Paco, just because he comes from Mexico, doesn't import drugs. So I just want to make that clear. <laughs> I, I have to work with the guy. He gets this off of us European males constantly. And it's not fair. You should leave the little man alone. Okay. You know, we don't need any racist slurs. He's got a wife, 16 kids, and a dog to think about. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, we don't want to do that. It's horrible. Right, so I'm gonna say goodbye to everybody. I Thank think we've had a good time. We're doing a long time. How long have we been recording for? We've got 28 minutes, people. High five. High five. So, the next time we see you, you. High five. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. I felt. I feel so high out. five. We can do this all round. High five. Bye bye. High five. Thank the you. next time we see you, you'll have done four Olympics. You will have done two Olympics. No, he will have done three. Three Olympics. How do you Four. I've, I've done three already. Ten. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You've done three. So ten. Ten. Twenty. I don't know. Pick a number. <laughs> Divided by pi. Is it prime? <laughs> by pi. Okay. Yeah. And you've done one. Yeah, I know. Oh. You have done world championships, though. I have. Yeah. I haven't. No, no world championships. I haven't. Okay. Well, this has been fantastic. Um, I want to do more interviews, so if you are interested in doing something through Skype or whatever, you want to fly in to see me, please do so. Um, we're glad you that we're You should definitely able... fly in because this bed is really comfy. Oh yeah, it is. It is. It's wonderfully comfy. Um, comfy. Um, <laughs> but don't, maybe don't fly in because we did have to change the sheets for this interview. Um, so give us another week's warning or something like that. Um, so, thank you. Um, we're very pleased. We're on the road to Sochi. Good luck to all the athletes. I hope you like this little bit of a video that we did here. We've really enjoyed it. Um, I think Victor has enjoyed it. I'm so excited. I, yes. can't, I can't see if he's smiling because his mouth's obstructed by his nose. Um, 
<laughs> he says he's very excited. He seems to be smiling. So, the man, the myth, the magic, and the moustache. We'll be back with you very shortly at some new competitions. Saying ciao, ciao for now. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. And, and I'm just hanging out the wood. Okay, you no, up. no, stop it. No. I can't do that. You hang up. You hang up first, Ryan. Oh, but... I can't. But you know Bye. I can't hang up. You hang Bye. up first. Bye. You're not going to hang up? You're going to hang no, up first. No, 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 please, Victor, hang, hang up. up. <laughs> Bye.